Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 8 of Civilization 6 where I'm still trying to work out what is going on. We are in a war with um, uh, Victoria, not Elizabeth, this is Victoria this time around. Uh, we are on the side of Rome, he asked us to join, he gave me quite a bit of money for doing it so I went yeah because I figured that I probably wouldn't really have to get involved in the fight and so far I haven't really. And she's on a different continent to me so it's not really something that's affecting me. So I'm just sort of staying out of the way, we want to get this scout heel back up. Uh, oh, you're actually firing at me with your archers, are you? That is um, wonderful of you. Uh, we have found another goody hut over here. We can't get to it. We found Geneva, though. Uh, what could we get from uh, Geneva? They're already influenced by two other civilizations. So England has one envoy sent to them. And uh, an unmet player has two envoys sent to them. Uh, now, what will we get from them? Two science in the capital. Which would be very nice. Two science in every campus district, which would be very nice. An additional two science in every campus district. And uh, you get 15% science whenever you're not at war with a civilization. That would be good. I'd actually like to send uh, an envoy to them. I do have an envoy that I could send. So just sending them one envoy. Um, we don't actually have an envoy at the moment. We need to get another one. Uh, you do have a mission. Which is to recruit a great engineer. But yeah, I'd like to get an envoy with Geneva just so we can get the uh, the science bonus. That would be really good. And uh, what else do we have? We've got you with the worker, so let's start bringing you home. Uh, let's start bringing this archer down here as well. We still want to get this other um, camp cleared out. I think they've got another scout around somewhere. Our settler is nearly in place. Let's go and move you away from these barbarians. We've still got a few more civilizations to find. We've not got everybody yet. Uh, you should probably be safe there for a while. So let's fortify until healed. I was rather hoping that Japanese unit would stay there and give me a bit of protection from that archer that was around. But maybe we're okay. So we've got some city-state embarked units here. But I think that's fine. I was just trying to trace out the eye, the outline of this uh, landmass up here. See what we can find. We've got quite a lot of um, uh, builders now. There's another scout that we can deal with. But first of all, I think we want to go and... Um, well, we'll kill that scout off first. So there's one dead scout. Uh, how close are you already are level 2 and you're still gaining XP even if it's only one, a one at a time which is nice. So we'll probably kill that scout off with you and you'll probably clear that camp. You on the other hand you're going to work down this way. You can try and take that camp out from the other side. Not a particularly brilliant place we've been in to build anything really but we will go ahead and found another city. It is Hildeberg. And uh, we will need to choose our production. We probably want to start with... Well, there's a lot of things we want to start with. Uh, we'd like a granary, granary and a monument. I mean, the granary will help with housing. The monument will help with culture. We'll start the monument. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look what we're working. We are working two food and one production. Uh, seems okay. We can obviously swap uh, tiles between cities if we want to. Got some science going down here as well. We will want to get that tea improved. Um, we are going to grow our population in eight turns, so that is fine. Uh, unit needs orders. Come on, let's find some of these other civilizations if we can. Get a feeling we're getting close towards the, uh, the top of the map. Let's go on to the next turn. And uh, is that another city-state we have just met? It looks like it is. Uh, we have met Toronto. So Toronto is over here. What do we get with Toronto? So they're only influenced by one other civilization, which is Rome. Rome have three envoys there. They have a quest, which is to train a catapult. And um, they would give us production when producing wonders, buildings, and districts. So it's because they're industrial. All the industrial ones are the same. You get production. Um, but the um the um, suzerain bonus is regional effects from your industrial zone and entertainment complex di districts reach three tiles further not necessarily sure i need that we've managed to get another um envoy with lisbon here we don't technically need one but sometimes you complete missions with them if they have quests and sometimes you complete them accidentally and you get additional envoys from doing so 
Uh, Ashen has finished whatever it was I was building here, and I can't remember. It wasn't the holy site, it was the shrine. But for some reason, that doesn't show. It's not the last one, it's like the last but one that always appears. Um, a theatre square would be good. Again, there aren't really many places that we could get that would make it worthwhile. So it probably isn't. Um, how are our amenities doing in this uh, city? Five of three. Nine of seven houses. We can go and get an aqueduct. I mean, getting an aqueduct over here, that would certainly um, improve our housing. So let's go and do that. Uh, another thing that I want to do is we are going to... Um, I thought we had more workers... I thought I had um, two workers because we stole one from a, uh, the Barbarians. Not that one. There was another one that we stole. Maybe something. Maybe the other one got captured back or maybe it only had one use and it got expended. But what I do want to do with this guy is um, get him over here and possibly build a, uh, a farm. Well, we want to get that anyway. Got to be careful. We don't want you getting captured there. Um... So, let's go over here and attack you. Uh, we didn't get the kill, unfortunately. You guys should be with him. Because you're linked. Strange that, that they're on escort. Might be a little bit of a bug or a little bit of a glitch. Um, we'll go and clear that camp. Because if you're going to leave it unattended, we're just going to run in and nab it from you. I'm a little bit worried about this guy now because the uh, the scout does have a three tile movement range, so that's unfortunate. Um, let's carry on around here then, see what we can find. Always good finding more city states. Yeah, I really want to know what's going to happen here. I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about that guy. Oh yeah, we've got this one as well, of course. So we'll do the same thing. We'll move around. See what we can see. Now let's move back down to uh, to here. I'm sure if we do lo end up losing this uh, builder, we can get him back. So I'm not overly concerned. Yeah, the scout's going to go straight. No, he didn't actually. He, he went through some rough terrain, so that kind of screwed him over. Um, so we have some archers here. Um, this is uh, grassland, so we can... Well, we didn't actually need to get right next to them, I suppose, but... We'll attack them with everything we've got. And they are dead. Fantastic. So, can you reach this guy? What do we have over here? This is grassland, so you can reach... Not the builder, though. It's the warrior we want to move in there and do that. And you've decided... Oh, yes, but you can't move into that tile because that tile's marsh. There we go. Now I remember. So you guys need to get yourself down here because we want to go and improve that T. And again, I'm still manually controlling these uh, boats. I could do it automatically, but I'm having fun exploring some new maps, seeing the new tiles, and we're probably... Oh, is that a new city-state? Or is it one we've... Oh, it's still Toronto. We're probably going to run into ice up here uh, shortly and get blocked. So we'll go on to the next turn then. Still got three other people to meet. Um, you are moving into my territory. Frankfurt can actually fire on a city now. So let's go and do that. So that's the garrison firing there. And um, we can move in and attack, I think. No, because once again it's still on a hill, which is really annoying. But it's taken a lot of damage. And uh, you guys need to get down there. You've got two uses left, so we might be able to um, squeeze a farm in or something. Uh, let's start bringing you guys home. Just in case England does land any troops on our shores. Uh, what do we want to get over here? We get a harbour, build better ships. We could try and build Petra, but it would take, for age, uh, take forever. We could build a quadrime, and that can go over deep sea tiles. So let's go ahead and build one of those. It only takes six turns, so that's not too bad. Let's keep having a look around with you. Is that... No, that's still Geneva. We found a goody hut. We definitely need to get a scout over onto this uh, land somewhere. Because that's like the second um, goody hut that I found over here. 
Uh, in fact, I'm tempted... Because what are we really doing with this scout? Not an awful lot. Although it'll take you ages to actually get anywhere useful. We might create another scout. Um, how long would a scout take? A scout would take only two turns for a scout. Um, let's go and get the scout first. It looks like there isn't a queue option either. Like there is in... Um... Yeah, it looks like there isn't an option to queue them up like there is in Civilization Five. Mind you, I do use a mod for that, so that's probably fair enough. Okay, unit needs orders. You are going to continue to look around here, and that is... Can you actually get through these tiles? Cancer's Coast. Maybe you can still get through. That'd be interesting if you can actually squeeze around those tiles. So, yeah, we'll get another scout out. We'll get him over to the other continent. Um... Brilliant. We're getting a trade delegation from Rome, so that's even more money. Quite liking this. Um, you're going to get finished off. We will use the warrior because that will mean the warrior gets the XP. And we give ourselves another builder. Um, these archers probably just want to sort of come home and uh, defend. Uh, you are going to build a plantation. Now, what do I want to do with you guys? Do we want to get another farm over here? Do we want to save you until we get another tile? We've already got a camp over there. Our borders aren't growing particularly quickly. I think we'll just stow you in the city until we've got a use for you. Of course, we've still got the ships to move around. But yeah, we found a goodie hut over here. Um, there was another one somewhere. I don't even remember where I found it. I thought it was here, but I could be mistaken. I was almost certain that I had seen one somewhere on this other landmass. Uh, we do, the map definitely does loop round. We can see that now by the direction we're taking over there, so that's fine. So yeah, you can actually get through these uh, coastal ice tiles. That's nice to know. I'm sure we'll probably get blocked at some point. But for the time being, there is still a way around. Uh, so this scout, I think we just send you this way. There's still quite a few barbarians around, but we'll try and sort of get past uh, Japan and see what we can find beyond them. Um, you want to peace out. Uh, will you offer me gold to peace out? Uh, bargain with the leader to find a better deal. This may modify items on both sides. You would be willing to give me money and gold for turns if I gave you tea. Well, I do have spare tea. So let's go ahead and accept that. So we're no longer at war. So that's nice. She still doesn't like us. But that just gave us a lot more income. Yeah, I thought we might get some hassle from these warriors. Uh, did we just finish our uh, ship? I think we did. Uh, so let's go ahead and, like I said, build the harbour. And we'll build the... Well, if we build the harbour there, we'll actually lose the... Um, if we build the harbour there, we'll lose the crab. So what we could do is buy a tile. Uh, Right-click. Buy a tile. Um, we'll grab that one. And then we should be able to build the harbour there. So if we go to production and harbour... Yeah, we can now build a harbour there. So that will be fine. So you don't technically even have to have a city right on the coast in order to be able to build a harbour. You just need to be able, be close enough to be able to build the har harbour. Uh, we have our scout here um, that we're not using. Let's go and um, send you out of there. Um, yeah, we never did actually build the, um, build the ship, but I guess we don't really need it. Let's put you in so you can heal up. Uh, the workers should be going in there as well. I'm going to be calling them workers. It's it's just one of those things that you're going to have to uh, deal with. I'm going to I'm always going to end up calling them workers. Uh, we have an envoy that we can send, uh, which is the one that gives us science. It's this one, isn't it? It's Geneva. So I'm going to go ahead and send an envoy to Geneva. A little bit of extra science in the capital. Um, we've got a builder. What do we want to do with you? I, th I think we just put you to sleep for now. We've improved that tea. Um, we could improve more tea. We could go ahead and build a mine for more production, I suppose. Let's go ahead and do that. It's not a terrible idea. And, um, 
I think you can come over here and defend this city, and you can come over here and defend Arshan. Uh, you need to continue working your way around. Let's try and find these other civilizations. Now, can we actually get through up here, or are we completely blocked in? Yeah, we're completely blocked in up there now. That's unfortunate, because we actually did very well at getting so far uh, so far through there. It's a shame they can't negotiate rivers and stuff like that. Uh, we're getting a little bit blocked in here. Um, I'm going to try and sneak past. He might still attack me, um, but we'll try and get past if we can. Certainly looks like Japan's having a lot of trouble with the barbarians. This um, looks like a holy site. Uh, holy site, yep, and it has been pillaged. So there's a shrine in it that's been pillaged as well. So it looks like you can actually pillage districts and the buildings within districts. Whether they they are uh, they happen at the same time or not, I do not know. Looks like they've got a, a slinger there attacking... Uh, or is that a Japanese slinger attacking one of the barbarian units? Difficult to tell when the uh, tags dis when the icons disappear. We'll find out when the turn finishes processing, but for some reason it's... Uh, it's hanging at the moment. Hopefully it hasn't crashed while the slinger does a funky little dance. Yeah, it looks like that was a, a barbarian archer and Japan's units are dealing with it. I do like the redesigned uh, thing down here in the bottom right hand corner that shows you how a fight's going to go. I think it's a little bit messy compared to the old one, but um, I, I do like it. It's got a lot of information on it. Uh, let's try and get you uh, away from the carnage that is Japan. And we'll get you healed up. Uh, warrior, you can heal up. See, this warrior's in a city and we can't rename him. So I can only assume you can only rename a unit once it has um, two upgrades. So we need to get you in the water. And then we need to get you across onto this land. We've met another city-state, have we? We have indeed. We've met Hattusa. Uh, you are a scientific city-state. So again, an envoy would, with you would give us another two science in our capital. Uh, you do have a mission. Your mission is to send a trade route to the city-state. Um, if it's possible for me to do so at any point, I will try. So, let us keep moving. Yeah, you're a little stuck now. I'm not too sure. I guess we sort of bring you down here and go around the uh, the bottom of this bit of the continent, I suppose. It's probably the only way we can go, really. I'm just going to wait for the AI's turn. I uh, wish that barbarian would stop following me around. If he would, that would be fantastic. Let's just try and fortify up a little there. Uh, we'll get you to heal. And, um, yeah, you're going to have to sort of go around this way because we need to go through the shallows. And you don't move very quick either. So what have we found? Once again, nothing exciting. You are going to go and build a mine. That'll give us some more production there. Now, we do have two population. Uh, which tiles are we working? We are working uh, two food, one gold, one science. Uh, I think for the time... But, well, we certainly shouldn't be working two food and one production when we can be working two food and two production. So that one should be locked and probably that. Lose a gold, lose a science, gain another production. 21 turns for the monument. It's about the best we can do right now. So let's go on to the next turn. Amenities is fine. Housing is fine. So nothing to worry about there. England has progressed to the medieval era, apparently. Let's try and uh, get you up here if we can. Doesn't help that uh, city-state's got so many units in the way. Can't actually see that uh, other goody hut that was around. In fact, I can't see either of them. There was another one. There was definitely another one up here. It was on this side. It wasn't on this side, was it? I just can't even remember now. I'm just totally confused. But we'll have to scout around and see what we can find. Uh, I might just get these archers to fortify for the time being. We'll keep moving you up. We're probably going to hit the same problem that we did on the other side and get stuck in ice. But we'll get as far around as we can. Uh, we've got our warrior. I'd love to get this warrior upgraded. But without having iron, it's pretty much impossible at the moment. So we'll just have to fortify him up. Um, if we can't get iron of our own... Because we're going to be out of range of this iron. We might just have to buy some from somebody. Uh, we do have a barbarian camp over here. 
it is free money and free experience, so it might be worth um, going to uh, get it. Remember that people break down too, not just machinery. Thank you very much, Sean. We can get crossbowmen there. Uh, let's get over here. These are England's troops, which currently should be friendly because we're no longer at war. Um, let's go ahead. We've got some money. We can upgrade these guys to crossbowmen. Cost zero gold. I wonder why it doesn't cost any money. Uh, what about the other one? Costs 200 gold. I wonder why one costed money and one didn't. Uh, but that's actually got unboosted metal casting because we've upgraded those. Um, what we will do is start to move towards this camp, I think. We need to choose a new research because we've finished machinery. So we could go into... Uh, see, kill a unit with a spearman. I don't even have a spearman. Uh, but getting pipemen could be useful because they don't require iron. We can get apprenticeship requires a workshop. And that would allow us to build Hansa, which is our unique um, unique district. So it replaces the industrial zone. And uh, there is someone that wants us to get a great engineer, and it would give us extra production. So we might want to go for that. So let's go ahead and queue that up. Got another unit needing orders. Again, it is this ship. Starting to find those uh, dreadful ice tiles, but there looks like there is a way through. Either way, we're over the 20-minute mark, so I think that is a good place to end the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.